I am Margie from Marjorie's Candies, and um, today I'm going to make some strawberries really good for ice cream, okay? You start with fresh strawberries, and you just put some sugar on them, and then you, it creates overnight, it creates a nice little syrup, okay? Just like when you go to the, to the ice cream place, and they put uh, strawberries over your ice cream. They're soft, and they're very sweet. Sometimes strawberries aren't very sweet, so what I have here is two cups of strawberries, okay, and I cut them up. I just sort of, I just you know, give them a cut. I like them to stay pretty big, okay. Just stick that in and I just give it a spin. They really can't be too big. I should leave one whole just for fun, okay. I'll leave one hole just for fun. Okay. There we go. Now, that's two cups of strawberries. So I'm going to show you, it depends on how many you have as to how much sugar you put on. And let me tell you at this point, what you can also do is you can get You can put this on there instead. You can literally just pour this over them, a few tablespoons of this amaretto, and they'll taste a little bit almondy. And um, well, actually, when I made this one yesterday, I made one with amaretto in it. And um, well, actually, it's not here anymore. I ate it for breakfast, so <laughs> can't show it to you all done. But it really pretty much looks the same. Okay, the syrup might be just a little bit darker because of the darkness in the amaretto, but they were really good. <laughs> okay. So, back to this. This is strawberries, and I'm just going to start two cups of strawberries. I'm just going to add some sugar. Okay. And I toss them a little bit. And I'm going to add a little bit more. Really, strawberries without any sugar is probably the best, but if you want that syrup, you're going to have to do the sugar thing. So that was about a tablespoon and a half for a cup of something. You could squeeze a little squeeze of lemon over them if you like. Okay. Um, you can do that. Let me here. And to my bag. And squeeze a little lemon over them. Okay. And that's pretty much all. I actually didn't do the lemon in here, so you don't have to do the lemon. Okay, I just did it this time. I'm going to see if it comes out different. And that's really all. Okay, now what you'd want to do is cover that with some saran wrap and um, put it in the refrigerator overnight. Could just take a few hours, but the longer it sits, it really does create this syrup, which is, I just love it. Okay? Some people sometimes will um, grind some of them up and make them more you know, smaller pieces. That's up to you, okay? So we're getting ready to make a banana split. So now we have, now we're ready. Thank you.